I worked hard over my career to be a good professional networker, and I've definitely benefited from pro, pro, from professional networking in in multiple ways. So uh, I've been hired for jobs. I've been uh, I found new people to hire, new team members for my own team. I've won projects from clients. Uh, I've gotten great advice. Uh, I've made good friends. Uh, many of my my friends in the surveying profession are people I met through professional networking. So professional networking has definitely benefited me um, in, as I said, in, in multiple ways, and I appreciate that. But having said that, uh, a common mistake I find among younger professionals is they approach professional networking um, with the goal of getting something for themselves out of it. And uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. As I mentioned, I've benefited from professional networking in, in many ways, but um, I, I find at times young young professionals are they're much more aggressive about their professional networking than I was for sure, and I think that's that's something of a trend. And I find um, that they're just taking the wrong approach. You know, when when you when you approach professional networking and you're solely focused on what you're going to get out of it, um, it just does. Number one, it doesn't work well. It it turns people off. You know, I'm oftentimes on LinkedIn, I get hit up by people. And um, as soon as I make a connection with them, the very first thing they want to do is sell me something or they want to ask for something. And uh, it's extremely irritating. Um, and that's just one example. Um, that's not the right way to do professional networking. So what I wanted to do was just offer some brief advice to younger land surveyors and other real estate professionals about, you know, what's the right way in, in my opinion, which I know doesn't count for much, but what's the right way in my opinion to approach professional networking? So, your goal when you're going to do professional networking should not be to get something. It should be to give something. And I think when you take that approach, you're going to be much more successful in the long run. Now, you may say, well, it's, I'm a young professional. You know, maybe you're an LSIT or maybe not even an LSIT yet. Uh, maybe you just started surveying or maybe you're, maybe you're still in college. And you may ask yourself, what, what do I have to give? How can I, how can I help somebody? I haven't, I haven't been in the profession now. You know, Landon, you've been in the profession 20 years. Of course you can help others. How am I supposed to help? What do I have to give? So I want to just give you a list of things that you can give to others as part of your professional networking, even if you're a young professional. So let's go down the list. What can you give? Don't ask for a job. Help somebody else find a job, right? And maybe they find a job with your organization or they find a job with somebody you know. Don't ask for advice. Give advice, right? We almost all have advice that, that we can look for people in your professional networking that you can help. If you're in the if you're in the second or third or fourth year of your college program, try and help a, a freshman in your college program. If it's your uh, second year on the job, try and help somebody who who's having their first year on the job. If it's your first year on the job, help somebody who's having their first month on the job. If it's your first month on the job, help somebody that's having their first week on the job. Uh, don't ask for a recommendation or a reference. Find somebody you can give a recommendation or reference to. Um, and then finally, one thing that we all have is we have our time. And you can give your time. You can volunteer. One of the beautiful things about being young is you have energy and you have time. <laughs> uh, you know, if you're like me, uh, you don't have very much time and you definitely don't have a lot of energy and you also get forehead wrinkles and lose all your hair. So there are, there are certainly advantages to being young, and, and one of those, two of those advantages are, are your energy and your time, and uh, I encourage you to give those to others. Volunteer. Volunteer with your state survey and association. Volunteer with a local business association. I mean, it doesn't need, you know, it's great to volunteer with, with professional associations, but even uh, do just doing volunteer work in your local community that's not directly related to surveying is also a great way to, to professionally network. Um, it's going to make you happier when you give to others, and you're going to you're going to build strong relationships founded on giving, not taking. And I think it's just way better in the long run. So, to sum it up, as a young professional, when you're going to do professional networking. Don't think about what you're going to get. Think about what you can give, right? And uh, here's some just, I'm going to throw some random professional networking advice in at the end of the video here. Uh, be open to connect with people uh, that you don't think can help you. You know, maybe it's somebody that's younger than you or it's less experienced than you. 
don't turn those people down just because you don't think you can get something out of them. Um, be open to that connection. You never know how they might help you or who they might know that can help you. And you never know when that person uh, could be a lifelong friend. And if you're going to follow my advice in this video and you're going to, you're going to network to give to others, you, you need to connect with, with those that are in a, in a less blessed position than you are, right? Less fortunate position than you are. Uh, focus on quality. So you want to build, you know, it's better to build a few strong connections than to have lots of shallow connections. You know, I think about, you know, I've got 10 or so really, really good friends in my local surveying community and real estate community. And those friendships have proven to be invaluable to me. And, you know, those kind of friendships take time and they take a lot of giving. Um, it takes time to build that kind of trust and, and it takes a lot of giving to earn that trust. So focus on quality. You know, I say that also don't be obnoxious, you know. If, if, if you reach out to somebody more than once and try and engage with them and they just, they don't want to re reciprocate, you know, don't, don't push, don't be obnoxious. There's plenty of people out there that need help and that love people and that are looking for good friends. Um, you, you, don't, you know, so don't be obnoxious. Um, give without payment. Uh, you know, I, I think probably one of the most powerful things I've done in my networking is just give to people without expecting anything in return. You know, I've got a friend that borrows my my GPS gear when he needs it. I don't charge him anything for that. I've even dropped the gear, you know, dropped the gear off. I've picked it up. Um, you know, I've got lawyers that call me for free survey advice. Um, you know, I, I've got, I just, I look for opportunities to give without, without expecting payment in return. And then I mentioned this, but I just mentioned again, volunteer, uh, volunteer with your local professional association. Um, that's a great way to give and to meet people and uh, to make you happier. So I hope if you're a young land surveyor or another young real estate professional that you'll take this advice for what it's worth. Look for ways to give uh, when you network. Just just don't don't approach your professional networking as a, solely as a way to take or, or to get.